this is some rig you have here on the Ashane. Where did you get it off? Where did you sort it off? Why did you sort something like this? <laughs> we on tankers uh, before this on. Good day. It's a good day to be a farmer. Now, that is ridge number one, 2023, complete. Welcome back to Finnegan's Farm and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So, in today's YouTube video, we will be showing bridging and we have a slurry tanker. Not ours, but it's worth a look at. So, while I get set up here, if you have not subscribed already, please just hit the button in the corner and subscribe. I haven't done it yet. Go on. What I done there in a nutshell was I set up my AB line and now I'm doing my new boundary line as well. So my boundary line needs to be as close to the hedge as possible without actually being in the hedge. That fence is knocked over already just in case you think it's me. There's a fair hill in this field so I might just be starting with raging down the field just to make sure my lines are dead straight and take the pressure off the tractor that's not trying to pull up against the hill. So now that I'm at the bottom of the field, I need to put in my point B. I don't know how many times I've done this and forgot to press B, so B. So I'm just coming to the end where I started and hopefully when them two blue lines meet on the screen, it'll create the boundary of the field. Then hit the green. And there's my field. Come on. Oh, oh, there's all my lines there. All right, should we go up to the top now and see how we go? Kaylin, we set the razor up, bang on. She's sitting square as she can get in behind me. We're not even going to attempt to ridge back up, especially with them stones. I'll just go back up to the top and ridge back down. But that's not bad. She's fairly square and straight at that. Now, that is ridge number one, 2023, complete. So I'm not exaggerating when there's a hill and I won't pull up it. Imagine pulling up that. I walked up it the other day and that was tough enough. So I'm about halfway through the field now. I've nearly all the long runs done. And yeah, as you can see, the drying has been unbelievable. Look how dry it's got. Like the last run I done was over that far side. And when I come up the next time, I bet you that'll be dry. Now one thing that has annoyed me so much there's all these lovely bird droppings all over the poor old style. The sea, look, 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 me out to washing the windows. So the seagulls are having a feeling. Number one, they're eating all my worms. And number two, the wind is coming this way, so every time they excrete straight onto the tractor. All over. Look, it's even up through the sunroof. Drive you mad. So there's a few spots there to brew the hill where she's very stony, so I might have to go back over one or two of them, but I'll see for the minute. Even when I'm driving back up the fields, I just hit the auto steer button there and it just brings me dead straight up the field. Work smarter, not harder. Sun is coming in, I got my tan on. Good day, it's a good day to be a farmer. It's a long time coming, but it is. This came now. So we're all very enthusiastic at the minute. Everyone's in good spirits. The weather's good. The tractors are leaving the yard. Everyone's getting to the field. But by God, when I tell you in six weeks, I'll be happy it's all over. But for a minute, we might as well enjoy it while we can. So this is my office for the day. I have to say I've really enjoyed the first day on it. Obviously, I'm going to be a bit more enthusiastic. I'll just show you that quick view of the inside of my cab. 
We booted the door. It's not unbelievably clean, not bad. Have my water for some H2O. My GPS screen, K screen, all my configurations that I need. Phone chargers are getting late in the evening, and then just my bag. Nothing else. This is all eaten. And the phone poker, of course. So the windscreens need to wash, that's for sure. But it's the back window that makes all the difference. Back you up there. So when you are a region, it's very important. Yeah. So when you are a region, it's very important to get your ins and outs right. So obviously I have my boundary when I drove around the outside, but then I have a 10 meter line inside that, which is my orange line here. And this orange line dictates when I lift or drop the ridge. So if I go into this run up here, so I set up the red line will match me up. Then I can just hit this button, steer and engage. And then I need to get this down to nearly one or two centimeters. Come on, come on, come on, before the orange line, perfect. So obviously the yellow bar at the back is the ridger and the arrow is actually the tractor. So once I, once that yellow bar touches the orange line, I am ready just to hit the button down for my arms and then I just have to adjust my top link in and out to let it bury itself. And there she goes. So I'll head across now to Dad and Shane who are in the big slurry tanker. I'll let Dad ask the questions and yeah we'll see how they get on so we'll head across to them now. Here with Shane Callan and we're currently putting out a bit of slurry here. Now, this is some rig you have here on the Shane. Where did you get it off? Where did you source it off? Why did you source up like this? <laughs> Were you on tankers uh, before this or? Yeah, tractors and tankers. Uh, nothing, nothing to the size of this. Yeah. Uh, or this scale. Um, went this route. Number one, to be professional at it. Yeah. And uh, number two, to try and leave the days shorter and still get through the same amount of work. In the, day. In, the, in the shorter yeah. day, because as you can see, we are drawn currently with the lorries there are bringing the slurry from the farm to the field. Shane is sucking now here with this big arm here on the front. Um, it'll suck it there in a couple of minutes, won't it, Shane? Yeah, three minutes and empty the lorry. Uh, I'm just pulling out there now, so you can see the arm just coming up there now, and off he goes. It's an articulated steer behind, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's on a it's on a ball and spoon. I think it's on a 120 ball. Right. It's a little bit bigger than the one that's on the standard tractor, alright. And she's well wheeled all around. Uh, eight wheels, 960s, 42s on it. All around. Four wheels there on the tank. Tank doesn't drive, it's only the tractor that drives. Yeah. Four wheels there on the tractor. And you have a big donkey under us here, so. Yeah, there's 450. Yeah. <laughs> thinking now that plenty of grunt on her there when she wants to go on. Yeah. Oh no, it's all right on the flat, but on the hills you want every bit of it. Yeah, so you would have bought this from? This came from Germany. Yeah. Yeah. So the farmer yeah, over there Yeah, the man is contractor. still on it. He's a contractor. Doesn't own any land. It was all, he's just a contractor. Yeah, all contract combines. I think he is. Three or four combines. And he had, had he many of these? Analysis. The two of these. He had a four wheel of Rido and he sold this one for a six-wheel operator yeah. with 36 meter that drive barn. Yeah. Now, the beauty of something like this is that, as you were saying, you have a shorter working day. Because the lorries are drawn, obviously the boys with the tackle and that, they have to kind of... Yeah, you can, the to you can stick to their tackle time, yeah. And it's not, you're not out all night. All night, yeah. <laughs> Whereas it used to be, that was the case with yeah, the tackle and that. Was, was enough hours in the day. What boom are we working on here? Uh, it's a 30 meter Vogel sign. Um, Seventeen. That boom. It's um, uh, 30 meter uh, Vogel sign. Yeah, it can. The section is showing all this. We can walk yeah. from um, 30, 27, 24, 
Down to 21, we can do 21, yeah. Brilliant, okay, and she's fully out of steer, as I see there. Fully out of steer, yeah. Fully out of steer, she nearly drives herself, but still a lot of work, and I'd say this, when you brought it home first, a lot of head scratching, oh, I, yeah. I would have imagined before <laughs> hopping up, and you're well, you're well used to the machinery, but this is another yeah, step up, this was it? another, another level, yeah, another level. It was, um, yeah, when we were over, the farmer beyond was supposed to show us How we was, uh, a bit of a crash course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we landed over on the Thursday morning. No, Thursday around dinner time. Got yeah. talking to him. He was busy. They had a bad, real cold winter out there that time. And in the spring, they were late getting going. They had to get out at Slurry. When I landed to pick this up, he hadn't time yeah. to show us. Now, I presume there's an awful lot of pressure on just having this alone rather than having, you know, if this and happens this, you need to get Yeah, if that happens this, I am in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Look, you probably could go back to using the pipes. You well, definitely you won't, won't go back. No way. No way. No, no way. No, I have to say, it's probably one of the most impressive machines that I've sat on, and I've sat on quite a few. Yeah, but this, yeah. this brings it to another level, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Now, there's no, the, 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 no comparison than this to the pipes, like in the in in the fa in relation to what they put out in the day. Yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're actually, it's, it takes longer to fill it than nearly to empty it, am I correct? Yeah, we would, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It take, especially with that slurry there, it's a wee bit thicker, so it's probably taking a little bit more, four to five minutes yeah. to fill it. But she'll empty herself. And, so oh, the slurry, the, the thickness of the slurry will the make slurry, yeah. the slurry. Yeah. Then, when you're working on the 30 metre, you can use, you have your pump around 550, right? Okay. So. If I shut that back to a twenty to the twenty-four, uh, it means you can't get rid of the, the volume of slurry so, yeah. at the same. Yeah, so your pump will be back to about four fifty. It'll be back a hundred. Yeah, we're right. currently about now about four thousand gallons. Four thousand. Yeah, and you're still able to travel at four k yeah, an yeah. hour. Do you know? Um, I was at stuff the other day. I was. Uh, 5,000 gallons in the air, I was not me, I was going, and we were, I was still travelling around 3k, like, it's still a fair speed to be yeah, putting out yeah. that amount, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you suck that out, that takes the full Arctic load, doesn't it? Oh, the full load, yeah. This tank will hold six and a half, and the lorry's bringing six, so I have room to take the whole load out of the lorry, yeah. The lorry's yeah. going away empty again. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, yeah. it's some way of shifting a lot of yeah. lorry. Yeah. How many lorries would you generally on a, on a draw? Like, it's not a long draw. Not a problem. long draw in there, no. Usually, uh, last year we had, you see, if the lorries can come down the field to this yoke, and it never has to come off a track, it's a great job. Four yeah. or five lorries, no problem. But unfortunately, we don't have that pleasure We'd, this year with no, a lot of rain. A lot so of this rain is probably this, some yeah. of the first big bursts you're going to get. Yeah. There. Still in all, I'd still need four lorries running with her all the time now. Yeah. I have three there now, but look, uh, it's just the day that's in it. <laughs> and is there much maintenance on it? Upkeep on it? Uh, no, not really. The, um, no, it's, it's just the pump wear yeah. and tear on the pump. Yeah, it's empty there now. That's all empty, yeah. Um, Just like a big sprayer, Shane, isn't it? That's it, yeah. It's just a little bit longer. Just a bit longer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, from the, Many meters from the tractor to the... It's 21 metres long from the tip to toe. Yeah. And it's long now, you just want to, want to get used to it. But I suppose, like everything else, when yeah, you get this, yeah. used to driving, your yeah, spatial awareness does kind of... This is it, yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll grow wet. It goes, goes, <laughs> goes with the territory, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's 50k on the road from the fucking job 50k to job on it, yeah. You don't be long travelling from one to the next. That there is me stone trap that I'm empty in there at the front of that. You can't really see, you'll not see that. Okay. But uh, one so of back, the every, yeah, every time you're coming back to the lorry, you'd want to be letting this, this it's, Let it's just stone, stone, stone skull yeah. or whatever is in there, yeah. So you just drive up to it here. Yeah, and put the arm out. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting good at this, I see. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Practice. <laughs> Practice. So once it goes into the chute there, it's pure suction then after that, is it? Yeah, she yeah, or it's a turbo fill on the on the on the front arm and So you're working off your pressures here on the front clock there. Yeah, the, that pressure should, should go up to around 160. And then you know it's full then at that stage. Yeah, uh, no, well um when the, the lorry's empty, 
it lose its prime oh, on sorry, the arm yeah, yeah, and the pressure yeah. will drop there. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Once it's at 160, yeah. it's sucking. She's now. sucking, yeah. Class cab, nice comfortable cab. Yeah, it is grand cab set. Uh, plenty of visibility out of it. You're very you clean. can see plenty. You're, you're, very, very, you're, very, clean. you're very clean for lad that's yeah, a slurry. It's the, first clean, it's the first clean lad I've seen a slurry in a long, long time. Yeah, I really like this <laughs> joke. <laughs> uh, no smell when you go uh, home. Yeah. Unlucky for the boys that's out there. <laughs> One yeah, lad, yeah, he, well, got, he got that. goosed this morning. Oh, he did got, he? Oh, he did, yeah, he did. That can happen. Yeah, that happens, yeah. Not too often, but. <laughs> no. If they're quick learners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they might do it the first time, they won't do it the oh, second time. Yeah. Right, Shane, so of all the slurries, which is probably the one with the, the worst smell, I should say. Now, I know they all do smell, yeah. but some of them are just not A little quite. bit worse than the other. Um, yeah, the slurries, the duck slurry probably is the yeah. worst, yeah. Well, it's you can uh, see the boys are incorporating it here. We have the big rubber out yeah. and we've the, the, the coon disc there in and we're kind of incorporating the slurry into the stubble yeah. there, into the ground. So it's kind of going to alleviate any of the smell, yeah, there won't which be is that a great much job. Smell, yeah. Won't be that much smell, yeah. but yeah, the duck would be probably the worst of the... Now, the cat slurry, that is quite smelly too. But oh, yeah. Uh, Depends on what they've been fed. fed uh, on, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're doing much now on sea ground now, apart from on stubble ground here. And this is for potatoes and we'll incorporate that. But then you will also go out sometimes on cereals as well. This, you have used it on cereal land before, haven't you? Oh, and yeah. Earlier stages. Earlier stages, course. yeah, yeah. We uh, top dressing that. We, we were out earlier on on the barley this year, and it's just too wet, too, so yeah. we didn't get out as much as we'd like to. Um, but. Yeah, the some of the heavier county mead land now, you just might be, yeah, might just might be able to just take be it. As, yeah, it's only one of these in the country, is it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, it is, yeah. It's the only one like this. We've played even walking yeah. walk in the UK, obviously. As yeah, well, there's well. a good few of them. And Jeremy is a big, yeah. Uh, and so the makeup, and Holland, of, the makeup yeah. is the class cab, class engine, is that? Yeah, it's a Zarian saddle track. Yeah. Um, and 4,000. Is that the model of them? Yeah. I think they go 4,000, 4, yeah. And then the tank behind it, that's made by another company, is it? Yeah, it's a Bauer. It's a Bauer, yeah. Or SGT. And SGT, Bauer brought out SGT, so Bauer owns. And Bauer, Bauer are Bauer's kind of big Bauer for Bauer irrigation yeah. and all that. Yeah, so exactly, the, yeah, the, the pumps, pumps and, and all yeah, that. Yeah. An awful lot of plus points to the machine, but if you were to probably change some few bits on it, what would they be, Chef? Yes? Uh, what would I change? Well, the bar on the back of the tank definitely needs to be come up higher. Yeah, like a sprayer, the way you could lift across. Yeah, you can lift across the hedge or across, yeah, or even if it, it come up higher on one side of your tilting it. Um, you have no, break, no breakaways. You have no nothing. breakaway on the, on the bar, no. Um, so for that reason, you'd need them coming up higher. Yeah. Uh, and this country as well, there's loads, plenty of flat ground in Holland and Germany this country not you need the bar coming up higher because yeah. if it lies over a wee bit it's a little bit in at the tank yeah. but when you're out that far at 30 meters it's a lot and it's, right. a, it's a good bit away from even to visualize it behind you there yeah, you know what exactly. i mean exactly you think you're yeah you think you're beside you're it but you're, but you're not no no you're a long way off <laughs> long way off well here we have another lorry pulling in look if you're going to be flat out for the evening here probably flat out won't see you now for the next couple of months yeah, you'll yeah. be be busy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the best of luck with it anyway, I know you're, you're happy with it anyway. Oh yeah, very happy with it. Yeah, yeah you never, you never go yeah. back to the pipe system. Oh, so oh, if oh. I was to ask you next week to do a bit of pipe work, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going to happen. i telling you to bring somebody else. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen, no. Thanks, yeah. Definitely not. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Hello, Mr. John Me. How are you? Sure. It's just the finest car. Sure. How could you complain and you and yeah. the A410? I'm looking at her, that's Living Adam the Oh, Jesus. So you're in one of the oldest working tractors with one of the newest machines here behind you. What do you have on the back here? Well, it's a combination of a disc and a... Roller. Roller, a compact roller as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, it's a good we, job. We have a Kuhn 5 meter disker in the uh, farm, gave it to us for a trial. John nearly cut out there. Ah, uh, no. What's he doing? John, she doesn't like that. Little bit of rev. Little bit of rev. So, 
This tractor only suits because there's a fair bit of weight in that yoke in the back. Oh, and it is a heavy machine yeah, now, right now. Machine. It is it's definitely not, heavy. It's fully mounted, like there's no wheels in it, so no. she's, she's working away there to find this. This is kind of, obviously we've seen the big machine there. What do you make of her? Oh, it's some tool, isn't it? Isn't it? Ah, it's, it's just so beast yoke. of a thing. No getting out and putting on pipes. No, so. your man says he doesn't mind going at Surrey because it, he stays clean in the yeah. cab. Some I'm, job. Until he blocks it. <laughs> yeah, she just avoid doing that. So we're basically just, we're disking in yes. the slurry, but we're also disking in the smell. Yeah. Yeah. That'd because be kind of the biggest reason. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just not ideal, but look, the slurry has to go somewhere and that's just the way it is. It needs to. Sure. Nowadays you have to use your story mm. when you get the opportunity. Yeah, exactly. And we had to wait for the land just to dry up and she's drying up now, so price of fertilizer as well. Then. Yeah, you know John. Paying the big bucks for it. Yeah. Look at that. Look at it! Look at it! Just John, why aren't you as white as him? Ah, uh, just don't have to be. No. You're faster. No, I'm quicker, look. I'm keeping <laughs> up with him there, right? and he's twice the win. Exactly. I'm over. Bit here, we're just getting, preparing a bit of spud ground, aren't we, John? Yeah. Hopefully now we get in here shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the weather, if the rain, if you've done us a favour and just... Oh, no. for a while, will yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Leave us alone. Look at like you. like a young bull when you get out in the field. Yeah, 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 with a bunch of heifers there. <laughs> <laughs> So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment what you think and we will get back to you if you're planting spuds at home or whatever you're at. So from everyone here on Finnegan's Farm, we'll talk to you all next week. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.